it's Denise and I am back again with day seven of the 31 days of tarot 2019 and um, today I'm talking about the deck that I have used the most in 2018 and this is a kind of weird one for me because um, it's, I don't know it's not really a tarot deck but it's not really it's like a tarot oracle deck um, so, <laughs> but it's the deck that I've used the most, um, and it's because I've used this for readings for other people. I use this a lot. <laughs> this is my, like, my go-to one that I reach for when I'm doing just, like, a quick, um, reading for, for somebody else. And this is the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, or For the Heart, for the Heart Oracle deck by John Holland. And it is a Hay House deck. And I have like this weird, like I like a lot of Hay House decks, but I don't always spend a lot of time using them unnecessarily. So um, I have a few that I use a lot and this is one of those. So the reason this isn't really a tarot deck, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this one, but it is a 65 card deck. Um, it has, um, so John Holland has worked with, I forget who else this is his, like, tarot, you know, tarot consultant, but, um, Ann Hintz, the tarot consultant, but the artwork by John Matson is what really sells this deck. It is gorgeous. Um, and so what they've done and see, these are the backs, and the sides are gold. And yes, this is wearing off, but I like that. So what they've done here is they've taken a 78-card tarot deck, basically, and taken out all the court cards and all the tins of each suit and then added back in seven chakra cards. <laughs> so it's not really a tarot deck. In, in a strict sense, but it is set up kind of that way. Oh, I don't know why I'm shuffling. Like, I have cards in my hand and I have to shuffle sometimes. So, it's kind of loud. But, um, but it is still set up a lot like a tarot deck. So, it's got the four suits, although they've renamed the suits in this deck. Um, and it's got the Major Arcana. And it still has the 22 Major Arcana cards. And so, it's got the Major and Minor Arcana. Um with the addition of seven chakra cards. And the reason that I, <laughs> I use this so much, so Psychic Tarot uh, for the Heart, let's see what they say about it, but um, it's created to assist and guide you in matters of the heart, especially in the different relationships in your life. And I have found that when a lot of time, a lot of the, the readings that I do for other people are mostly focused on relationship questions. That is the most common question that I get asked is relationship questions. And so these are just incredibly good for that and to the point. Um, let me get some of these. There we go. And the artwork is gorgeous. So like that one really. So you can you can kind of see the correlation. Like so it's it's the black borders are the major arcana and so this is 13, so it's death. Um, the the name of it, or, you know, is release. So you can kind of still see the the correlation to tarot, but it really <laughs> it's still really different. But it's um, it's done in such a way that you can kind of use it really well. It's a good everyday like relationship deck, and so. Can kind of see so they have it set up to where and you have to kind of read this and then like think about it a few times um has been my experience but green is emotions um which would be like typically the cup cards so this would be like the four of cups which is they say opportunity beckons um which is like a different interpretation of of that but you know I think it's the don't miss out on an opportunity don't turn back to it but you can kind of see the the thing and so then the the red which I would normally think of as being like wands maybe but it's actually red is physical um, 
which would correspond to pentacles. So it is, this would be like the ace of pentacles and this is strengthening bonds. I don't know. You can kind of like, it's pretty different, but so it, it is an Oracle. It does say that it is a tarot heart, like psychic tarot of the heart for the heart Oracle deck. But and here's one of the chakra cards. Just basic, but these have been so helpful when I read for other people because these will pop up when there is like an issue with with that within that chakra going on. So you, you get like the sacral chakra and you can kind of say, well, it seems like, you know, there is an issue, you know, maybe there's like creative block or, you know, something like that. Like you can kind of see if it's like a, if it's a communication problem or, you know, like that kind of thing. Those have been really helpful. And, um, so daydream and decisions is would be the seven of cups, so you can kind of see similar. And we got the six of this would be the six of pentacles, and you got the people you know holding things out and it's giving and receiving. So, I mean, there it's very, um, it's very similar, I guess, in a lot of ways to tarot, but it's not tarot. But I was trying to think of my most used tarot deck, and really this is the deck that if someone was like, well, not just for any reading, but for those relationship readings, that that is just the deck that I have been reaching for this entire year. I actually have the first deck, which was, I think it's just the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, and that one's is good as well but um clarity of belief so that would be uh the ace of swords but this one just was the one that i would have you know always sitting out uh, to reach for if i needed it to do a reading and my own personal work my personal work would tend to be, you know, like a daily draw and like I do several in-depth readings with like other decks, but I, I just wasn't like, I didn't seem to use one all the time. I'm going to try to use my decks, like go more in depth with my decks, um, for myself in the coming year, but I just was kind of fickle, I guess, for myself over 2018. So I didn't, um, I don't know, I just didn't have like one that I always uh, used over this year, but when it came to doing readings uh, where I needed this just to grab a deck, this was the one that came up. Oh, I love this one. The two from the Major Arcane, which would be the, um, the High Priestess. Because I believe, I believe that it still starts with zero. For the major arcana cards yeah because you can kind of see manifest the one so that would be the magician so i mean knowing the tarot you know like basic meanings yeah trust oh this is yeah it's a good one has really helped you know using this deck but it's just like for example, you know, if this card comes up in a relationship reading, it's just very clear that it's about, you know, trust and you can kind of tell where you need the trust or where you might need to not have so much trust based on the surrounding cards. But these all the keywords are very um, relationship oriented, like take the lead and the healing begins. Ah, master the devil. And yeah, and some cards, um, you know, people, this one comes up a lot <laughs> in a, a lot of readings, it seems like, but seek the truth, win or lose, and then um, move seven, the chariot. So this is just a really interesting deck. It's really fun to work with in those readings, and that is why just because the relationship questions that seem to be the ones I get a lot um, when I'm doing readings for other people, that's why this deck has just been the 
my like go-to one that I have used the most, I think, in 2018. So that is it. And I hope you're having a good one. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.